Hi there. One of the most common comments on my Tyranid content is that the dot patterning must take a very long time, so today there's no lesson. Instead, I'm just going to show the process of patterning a Scythe Hyradul, the third largest Tyranid model, well, aside from the armor cast ones, but we don't talk about those, sped up to 10 times real speed. If you just want to see the final model, skip to the timestamp on the screen. So I begin. Starting with the white, you'll notice that I go one carapace plate at a time. I feel I get the most natural results this way, as it allows me to build up the patterning organically, getting each plate right before moving on to the next. After I've applied dots on all three colors, I'll go back and make any changes if needed. With the white done, I am a quarter of the way through the patterning process. Just for fun, I kept a tally of how many dots I applied, and at this point there are 1,025 dots on the model over 38 minutes of work. When I start on the orange-brown, I apply it to just the white at first. This breaks the orange-brown dots into two stages, and lets me focus on just one area at a time. As I'm applying the orange-brown, I am specifically placing dots to break up the outlines of the color transition, and create a reasonably natural reduction in intensity the farther I get from the transition line. As well, I'm occasionally deliberately painting in larger dots that I'll superimpose a black-brown dot on later.
At the end of this, I have painted 974 orange-brown dots over 29 minutes, so this stage went a bit faster. Now I go back and apply the orange-brown to the black-brown areas, following the same basic rules in the opposite direction. In addition to only going one carapace plate at a time, I also do only one side at a time, to ensure that I'm getting the proper tapering and dot density toward the center line. That's 1,212 dots over 33 minutes. I'm three quarters done, so now it's on to the home stretch. With the black brown, I'm both dotting it on the orange brown areas and applying the superimposed dots to the white areas simultaneously. This helps to add the tapering effect. As well, I'm applying the dots wherever there's a large area of blank space created by an absence of white dots. The orange-brown areas are the most crowded in this scheme, since they have both colors of dots applied to them, but I find that helps to sell the transition effect.
The black brown is done, so I'm very close to completion. By sheer coincidence, this step was also 1212 dots, over 32 minutes. The last step is to go back and apply some superimposed white dots within orange brown dots on the black brown areas. This is just a matter of going over the model, putting a dot on any larger spots I deliberately created, and scattering in a few more to get the right level of visual density. That's 108 dots over 6 minutes. The final total is 4,531 dots applied over 2 hours and 18 minutes. So with the rest of the scheme being fairly rapid, I find it goes a lot quicker than people expect. And here's the finished model, clocking in at about 9 hours of work for both model and base start to finish. I applied the lessons learned from my Tyran effects to significantly increase the randomness of the initial patterning, and I think it paid off in the final result. Well, I hope you found this video informative, or at least relaxing. And thanks for watching.